Jessica Pagula versus Pella Bedosa, the second semi-final for the Cincinnati Open for 2024. Both players have had different roads to get to this stage. Bedosa entered the tournament unseeded and will take on Stearns in the first round, but there's no problem getting through in straights. 6-2-7-5. In the second round, she take on the 13th seed Callan Skyer, who have been having a really good season so far. There's no problem for Bedosa getting through in straights. 6-3-6-2. In the third round, she take on Putin Seva, who had just beaten Coco Goff in the previous round. But again, no problem for Bedosa getting through in straights. 6-4-6-4. In the quarterfinal, she take on Pavlia Chenkova, who had just taken out Jean the Olympic gold medalist in the previous round. And again, no problem for Bedosa getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-2 to advance to the semifinals. Pagula entered the tournament as the number six seed. We're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Mukova. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 5-7, 6-4, 6-2. In the third round, she take on Townsend, who had just beaten the number nine seed Kazakina in the previous round. This was no problem getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-3. In the quarterfinals, she take on Fernandez, who had beaten Rabakina and Schneider along the way. And this was a battle. After splitting the first two sets, it went down to the wire, with Pagula getting through in a tie break third set, 7-5-6-7-7-6 seven, six, seven, seven, six, to advance to the semi-finals. These two have only played two times before with Pagula winning both their matches, including a match last year in Charleston on the clay, but their only hardcourt match was actually a retirement victory with Bedosa being forced to retire after five games. So we haven't seen them play on a court as quick as this for an entire match. And you'd think with Bedosa's weapons, this could be advantage Bedosa. If Bedosa's going to win this one, she needs to use those serves and those weapons to really push Pagula around and really bully her around. This court should suit her. We've seen that with players like Sabalenka this week doing really, really well on the fast courts. Also, Bedosa hasn't lost a set, so that's going to tell you something as well about how these courts are complementing her game. If Pagula's going to win this one, she needs to defend like crazy and maybe be a little bit more aggressive than she's been because playing it defensive here, she might just be running around all day and eventually lose. So she's got to be a little bit more aggressive and make Bedosa move. We know that movement isn't really Bedosa's strength, so moving her around might be key. This is a really fun matchup. We've got the Washington champion taking on the Canadian Open champion, who have both won tournaments over the last couple of weeks. But I have to go with Pagula in this one. I just think Pagula might just outlast Bedosa in this one, especially during the day tomorrow. If it's going to be a rain-affected match too, that could maybe affect uh, the mentality of Bedosa. So I'm going to go with Pagula in this one in a close three setter, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.